boom. A unexpected XRP drop within the price is what we're going to talk about in this video. So make sure you guys all stick around to the end. I'm Mark. Welcome in. I hope you guys all enjoy yourself here in this short time that I have you here, uh, where I'm going to be talking XRP, talk a little Ripple, talk a little crypto. And uh, it's kind of always fun to talk XRP because a lot of people out there don't own any other crypto but XRP. Um, not XRP maxis, just uh, when people adopted XRP and got in, uh, it was a different time period where people knew about crypto, but they got an XRP because of what XRP was. That's why I often on this channel call XRP in its own category. So uh, whether or not you fall into that category or you're just full-blown degenerate, or if you have, um, you know, if you have one of the original Bitcoin wallets, uh, whatever that may be, whatever your story is in crypto, um, welcome. And I think this is one where you're going to uh, find me talking about XRP uh, is something where um, it's a good thing for crypto and it's a good thing for XRP because I, I think a lot of the reason why I was attracted to XRP is it goes fairly, fairly uh, misinterpreted, okay? And that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, yeah, there's some there's some FUD surrounding it. Yes, there's a, all that legal controversy. Yes, it's you could say what you want about the price lagging other assets. Uh, the list goes on and on, but it's more so the vision that all this FUD and negativity, if we get to where we're getting to, really means nothing because... XRP would be so global, uh, Ripple would have completed its task, and I think that would pave the way for a much better, uh, um, I guess you'd say, a much bigger kind of entity than what we could even imagine that we're seeing right now within XRP and Ripple and what they're doing within the charts and within their evolution, okay? But enough about me ranting. Uh, that's kind of my gospel here on a Sunday, but as we get into it, make sure you guys subscribe, smash that like button, and let's talk some XRP, Okay. Please remember, guys, not financial advice, and always do your own research, but we are going to be talking about the unexpected price drop that has wiped millions in volume, all right? I want to share with you guys kind of the crypto bubbles. You can see right now XRP, seventh in market cap. We are still a little bit under 2% down on the day, and this is a day where if we go back and we watch the crypto bubbles, you watch coin market cap, whatever you use to track crypto prices... We've been running hot. We've been full of steam. Um, it's been full steam ahead. Crypto rebound. You see Bitcoin brushing 64,000. Uh, XRP seems it cannot break through that 61 cents level. And that's okay. Um, I firmly believe that XRP um, is something where we will get back to $1 uh, fairly soon. That might be this year. might be sort of 2025. Just kind of my perspective. Okay, I don't have that crypto crystal ball, but within me and my XRP, that's how I'm viewing it. Okay, and yes, I am holding. I'm not selling at one dollar. Um, it's not like your run-of-the-mill meme coin down the street where you want to take profits. Uh, we do have a lot of room for growth within this project, um, and quite frankly, them not experiencing a bull run due to the legal kind of shadow that was casted upon them uh, by the SEC. Uh, this is something where I could see XRP being very, very bullish if we can get a little bit of headway, okay? And not necessarily what they're doing. They keep plugging along. They've just been holding back, waiting for the perfect time to strike. But more so, it's with the other stuff within politics, uh, geopolitical stuff, and obviously this interest rate fiasco, okay? But this is what's happened as we've seen a drop in the trading volume causing that a sudden severe price drop that XRP just suffered through. Uh, we've seen almost 2% down where the price went from about 61 to 60 cents. Uh, and as always, that's like, you know, you guys watching, oh, that's 1%. Why is that even story, story um, you know, worth my time watching? Why is this a, a story? Well, it's not. But this is something where you're not going to look at that 2% drop as disastrous. But it's more so this is something where you see we're struggling to break through 61 cents. That's kind of the take-home message of this all, okay? And I'm going to share with you guys the trading view, and that might help put it further in perspective, okay? Uh, and forgive my little scribbles and drawings when I was... It's kind of what I do when I trade, um, just to kind of piece it all together. But we've consolidated a little bit right here from uh, the 17th of July up to where we're at right here right now. So about one week of consolidation. And the interesting thing is, if guys, if you use my trading indicator... This is where we're, we've seen momentum up flash, and we are still showing some some green. Um, and this is a day where, quite frankly, I'd, I'd expect this to be a stronger red candle. But this is positive, in my opinion. Okay, this is just kind of, you know, normal. It's healthy. Uh, and then I think that from here, if we do continue to follow this trading indicator, follow this notion, 
I think that XRP will break out from 61 cents. But this is kind of what we are talking about. Um, this is kind of why, as we've essentially consolidated, the volume's been down. It's been a weaker trading session. You have to understand why and why this all matters, okay? Uh, that's why we look for the reasons we can't break through 61 cents. Well, now that's gone, okay? So I think that people are starting to kind of look at XRP with one eye open. They're waiting for everybody to make the first move, in my opinion. 60, 61, 62, that's been kind of that, you know, that, that, that whole number at the top, that psychological barrier where if we do break through that, okay, that's when you have to look and understand, well, where, where's the next step from there, okay? And that's when we were talking back in March and in May uh, where we were trading almost at 70 cents, okay? So this would be approaching... Uh, the barrier where that could take us above the yearly kind of um, the yearly high. And I'm not talking, you know, where we hit in 2023, where we hit almost 90 cents and we thought a dollar was firmly in sights. I'm not talking all time highs back in April of 2011 or 2021, uh, where we did go over uh, almost at two dollars. I'm talking about our yearly high. OK, our yearly high would be a very good price target, very good level. If we can get through three quarters, hit that 75 cents mark, I think that's where XRP uh, could really start to pave the way for that next era of price action, okay? But right now, it's all about momentum. We got the momentum. The, the court seems to be done. The appeal process seems to be done. It may still happen. And I think we're still treading water on that one. But close that book and let's start looking forward to the future because this is where once we still get, which once we get that investor confidence back in, Bitcoin hits 70,000, Things could, things could pop off. It could just absolutely go nuts, and you're not going to get a heads up on this one. So that's why it's important with when you trade XRP, look at the futures market, look at the big bets, look and see where the whales are moving. Uh, but right now, this is kind of troublesome and a little bit uh, newsworthy in the fact that we can't break through that $0.61, cents, $0.60. Cents. We're still attached to the rest of the market and how it's trading. We need to break free and start trading on our own path. That's kind of how I view it. Um, trading volume is going to be one of the metrics to look into. So if we do see this decline um, with no trading volume, that's kind of alarming. Uh, but that's where we need to look into that next leg because I think that we are starting to have a little bit of skepticism, one-eyed open approach instead of looking at this as what it is. This is a big accumulation zone. If we can buy XRP right now, if we hit $1, I mean, where on earth are you going to make basically... 66% um, on your money, on your dollar uh, within a one-year time period, okay? That's how I view it. That's how I told my friends last night. Uh, we were out talking about some XRP, um, and that's kind of how I view it. Um, I don't see any reason why we can't get to $1. Uh, I think that's where XRP has been held back. They're kept in the stables, and uh, when we hit that period in time when, it's what, when we're ready to run, uh, you will see XRP vault past $1. Um, that's firmly my belief. It's not financial advice, just kind of how I view it and what I'm thinking here on this Sunday. So appreciate you guys watching. Um, let me know down below in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Um, and where do you see XRP headed in one year's time? Very curious to hear your guys' take. Um, I'm probably going to put a poll up here on the channel too as well because I want to see you and get to kind of stir that pot a little bit. Uh, but that's what we got going on. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Uh, if you can, subscribe down below. Like I said, we talk XRP and crypto every single day, and we'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.